about time we do a little build breakdown on this truck. <laughs> All right, so this is my 1960 Chevy C60 Viking. It's kind of a mouthful, but it's actually sitting on a 2001 Dodge 3500 chassis. So it's got the 24 valve, DP44, I know. So as you can see in here, we couldn't use our standard intercooler. So a lot of people ask, is it on compounds? No, it's still on the stock HX35. We just have the wastegate capped off with an air water intercooler. So there's a radiator, water pump, fan, all up under the flatbed that keeps this turbo cool and makes the power it does. Uh, it's on 150 horse injectors, uh, stock block basically, new VP44. Um, basically everything, motor back is all stock on the truck. It's making somewhere between four to four, 450 horsepower on it. Uh, it has a Valera stage one clutch, uh, which can no longer hold the power after we turned it up. Uh, it's also on an edge comp box tuner. This is a cabin chassis truck. So it has the solid front axle with the four wheel drive suspension, but it still is a two wheel drive because this truck doesn't see off road. It is strictly a show truck, haul truck, we use for the company, whatever. It's, it's a cruise around truck. It, it's not seen off road. So for our wheel and tire setup, we have our Alcoa Super Singles up front. It's a 22 and a half by 14 wide wrapped and a Venom 35 by 15.5 tire. I wish Nitto made a uh, 15 and a half wide tire or else we'd be running Nittos all the way around, but I already had Nittos on the rear. For the rears, it's just 22 and a half by I think 12 and a half, I believe. Still on 35. Uh, custom welding bed made by some pipeline welder back in the day. No idea who made it, but we're working with uh, Attaway Beds. They're going to be making uh, all of our custom beds from now on. They'll kind of be based off of this uh, this style. Uh, we are running the stacks on it, and of course, we're powered by Fast down here. Don't mind the filters. Fast is going to be sending me some new ones here pretty soon. The truck is all original patina on here. We uh, we worked with Poppy's Patina on this build uh, in order to clear cut the whole truck and bring all those colors back. As you can see, it brought the reds, the greens, some of the blacks back and just really made this thing, you know, pop. Uh, for the interior, we had our uh, awesome upholstery guy wrap up. This is the factory seat. It's uh, custom cut foam in here with a little bit of bolsters, diamond stitched. Um, She's a little dirty because she has a work truck. We have our system back here with our custom matching box. Um, we got tweeters up in the corners, dash speakers. We have our custom cut um, kick panel speakers, six speed manual. Still working out some of the bugs with the dash, but the whole interior is basically a, a factory rig. As you can see, we have our, uh, this is the original visor. We had redone and we took care of some rust and we used the original plate on the truck. As you can see, that's the original farm plate, covered up some rust with it, turned out great. Uh, this truck has new four pans put in it, uh, basically resealed up all the door seals, all the glass has been redone on the truck. Um, trying to think what else. We just want to give a huge shout out to Poppy's Patina and Fast Fuel System for making this truck possible. Go on to our other uh, social medias and check those out. You can pick up some of our merchandise on our website and uh, stay tuned for some more content. Thanks.